Hey everyone, this is Sylvia from Beauty Cakes and today we're going to talk about all about my ombre hair. I've been getting tons and tons and tons of questions about it so in this video I'm going to address everything that has to do with anything. So basically um, how I got the color, the colors I use and how I maintain it. So I've actually gotten my hair cut um, since the last time I updated my ombre and I haven't really toned it up or cleaned it up since then. So it's looking a little bit not so great right now but um, here are some pictures of what it looked like when it was fresh and newly done. I would classify my hair color more as a sombre, which is a soft ombre, instead of an ombre because ombres are usually a very harsh color change where it goes to a dark color to a very very light color at the end and you can see like a very dramatic difference, whereas mine is a very gradual soft change that is more subtle. So I originally wanted to do a sombre look because I dyed my hair a little bit lighter previous to my sombre and then my roots were going out. So many of you guys asked me if I did this at the salon or at home and the million dollar answer is that this was done at home. So it is achievable at home. My roommate was the one who actually did it for me so thank you to her for that. So of course because my hair is super dark we had to bleach my hair to lighten it up a little bit. Um, we ended up bleaching about two thirds of my hair so we left this part to let my natural hair colors show through. She concentrated the bleach mainly down at the bottom and then this middle part she just kind of brushed a little bit of bleach um, to kind of transition the two colors together. When the bleaching part was done it looked a little bit something like this. As you can see, it was pretty orangey. Um, in my personal experience with my Asian hair, I find that there are a lot of red and orange um, undertones to it. So I really want to avoid that because I did not want brassy looking hair. I wanted the nice ash look to it. I specifically use ash medium brown for the middle section and ash dark blonde for the bottom section. Um, we did get a little bit of dark hair dye to match my roots because my roots weren't fully grown out all the way to here yet. So we had to dye a little bit of it to match my roots. So we do the blonde first, the bottom, and we do um, a little bit over into the second quarter of the hair. I let that sit for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I wash it all out. I went ahead and blow dried it so I could see what the color looked like and where the color sat so that we could work in the medium brown next. So then we worked in the medium brown in the middle section, of course we're blending in the blonde with my natural hair color, and then finally we did my darkest color just to match my roots and we um, transitioned that down. I let those dyes sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and that was it for the color process. Now moving on, like I said, I did not want brassy tones in my hair and I find that with my hair it just brassy tones came very very quickly and easily. So to avoid that, um, obviously you want to shampoo your hair less. Usually I shampoo my hair every single day but when I did this color I started shampooing my hair every second to third day. Of course shampoo and hair products play a big part in keeping your hair that color and um, that vibrancy and also keeping it from being damaged because I realized once I colored my hair it was getting really dry and very difficult to manage. I needed to find products that would make my hair nice and soft, bring back its moisture, but also keep the vibrancy to it. So I tried a bunch of different products, but the one I ended up loving the most is the Nexus Color Assure line. The most important thing was that it was sulfate free and not to mention it had really awesome packaging which you guys are about to see. So I start off with the Nexus Color Assure pre-wash primer. You put this in your hair before you shower. So I've never heard of a product like this before, like a, a pre-wash primer. So I thought it was pretty innovative, but I gave it a try and I love the way that it works. I put this in before heading into the shower and it creates a shield that will help lock in the color vibrancy. You can use this from the very first wash that you do after coloring your hair. Then I use the Vibrancy Retention Shampoo which is a sulfate free formula and it will help prolong your color. Then I follow up with the conditioner from the same line to keep my hair soft while still retaining that vibrancy in my hair. It is super important to use conditioner when you have colored hair because your hair dries out very quickly. Then once I come in the shower, I use the Color Assure Glossing Tonic, which basically helps bring out all the vibrancy in your hair and makes your hair very nice and shiny and glossy so you can see the color and it looks great. For color maintenance with your hair when it comes to um, retoning it, um, I did it once after three months I went to retone my hair because um, I was starting to notice a little bit of brassiness. Um, so I just used the same colors that I used it for and just went over the same parts the same way pretty much. And um, it went back to a nice ash color. I actually haven't fixed it up in like a couple months or probably like four to five months now um, because I am planning to do something a little bit different with my hair so we'll see what the future brings with my hair. I hope I covered everything you guys asked in this video. If you guys have any more questions feel free to ask me on any form of contact and I will do my best to help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching. See ya!